Hi guys, today we will talk about some of the most recent Hall Effect Switch releases and compare them based on the sound profile they have and also the stem wobble. I will keep the talking part minimum this time and just list the specs of each switch whenever a sound test is playing and afterwards I will give you my thoughts. So the switches we will cover here are the Aulab TIHE switches, mainly the 40 gram force version. Then we have Gatoron Jade Rubies, Gatoron Green Dragons, TTC and Wooting collab switches, both the POM and um, RGB version. And then for the reference, we have the Geomworks Raw HE 40 gram for switches and Gatoron Jade Pros. So here are some sound tests. So strictly sound wise, I think my favorites were in order the Gatoron Jade Rubies, then the Jade Pros, Aulab TIHE, Geomworks Raw HE, TTC POM, Gatoron Green Dragons and then the TTC RGBs. The Jade lineup is just a very nice and you know premium sounding and feeling experience. A really close switch in terms of flockiness is the new Aulab TIHE switch which is also featuring this muted colorway, which I think is very pleasant to look at. While I didn't cover the RGB capabilities of these, I think these will offer nice lighting as well due to the frosted diffuser and the beige gray color combination. The difference in sound between the Jade Pro and the Jade Ruby is quite minimal overall and the rest of the switches that all feature the box stem just sound a bit too clacky for my tastes. From them I dig the wooding TTC POM switch the most, but I think they could use a bit more loop, especially on the rails, to offer a less rattly and clacky typing experience. The Gion Raw is then a very safe balance between clacks and thogs. So a lot of folks refer to the stability of the switch as only the non-actuated wobble of the stem, and if we only look at that, the box stem switches may look like they are not actually that 
stable, but the magic of the box stem comes from the stability while they are bottomed out and they are particularly good at reducing the risk of the switches deactuating by themselves when using zero or very minimal dead zones with a high sensitivity rapid trigger. So for that the box stem switches, both the TTC and also the Gateron Green Dragons are very very good. But in terms of the non-pressed stem wobble, uh, the better ones are the Aulab T-I-H-E with the least amount of wobble, then the Gatoron Jade Rubies and Gen Rolls are pretty identical and the Jade Pros closely follow. The Aulab T-I-H-E is the overall champion if we consider both the pressed and non-pressed stability, based purely on my eyes since uh, these two have a very minimal wobble also when pressed. Every one of these switches are said to be factory looped, but there are differences. The best stock looping I found to be on the Jade Rubies by far. Uh, they are just very thoroughly looped on the stem rails and on the spring. Next best is the Jade Pros, Aulab TIHEs and the GROs, and I would not care looping either one of these. The Green Dragons are also quite nicely looped but they could use more loop on the rails overall and then the TTC wooden collab switches are quite dry. They seem to have three depths of loop on the bottom housing which will spread out more evenly after some usage but the rails seem to be quite dry overall. While testing these switches I couldn't help but notice the similarities between the <laughs> Geon Rolls and the Aulab switches. Since they have the same pricing, the same fitment to the plate, which is very annoyingly tight and very hard to remove from the plate. Also the same spring length, same materials used and more importantly, the parts of the switches are interchangeable. So I am quite sure these come from the same factory. That is not a bad thing at all. Like overall, you could say that the Olap T-I-H-E is a thockier, solid bottom, slightly tighter stem housing version of the Giro, and I like that very much. But ultimately, what switches I would go for? Well, if you happen to have the cash and want something truly premium and prefer a thockier, softer sound, I can recommend the Jade Rubies, like, hands down. Um, also, the Jade Pros are a really good option and they are a bit cheaper than the Rubies. The Wooding TDC switches are something that I can recommend for someone that wants to have a longer spring, which will result in a quite interesting feel and wants to have a slightly heavier spring. And maybe don't care about the typing sound that much or prefer a more clackier sound overall. The Aulab TIHEs and the Gen Ross are the cheaper options here and they are also my top recommendations overall. If you want more thock, the Aulab TIHEs are a better option and if you want a bit more clacky switch, get the Gen Raw. Personally, I've been using the Aulab switches for the past week or so on my main gaming keyboard and they sound nice even on the Holy 60 case, which is pretty impressive. Both of these switches are uh, just a bit hard to remove from the plate, but I'm pretty sure most of you won't care about that. But that is all for this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye. See you on the next one.